side with this, the Miami-Dade police officer gravely injured and hospitalized after being shot in the line of duty. His brothers and sisters in blue holding on to hope outside the hospital. Some also seen praying. Police say it all started when a car involved in an armed robbery was located. We have Team 7 coverage all morning long. 7 Samantha Sosa is live outside of Jackson Memorial Hospital. But first we begin with 7's Lorena Estrada live at Miami's Liberty City where that officer was shot. Lorena. Well, Alex, as you'll see behind me here, authorities are still here on Northwest 7th Avenue near 64th Street in Liberty City, where that officer was shot and critically injured. This happening just after 8 o'clock last night. Now, police say detectives with the robbery intervention detail located a white car involved in an armed robbery. Police say the suspect hit detectives' vehicles as he tried to get away. The suspect also, police say, hitting a passing car with three people inside. Then on Northwest 62nd Street and Northwest uh, 7th Avenue, police say there were some sort of altercation that would end with the officer being shot. The suspect was shot and killed. That officer rushed to Ryder Trauma, where dozens of officers would gather and pray for their fellow officer. A tough night for the department. Listen. I just asked our fellow officers to stand as one, our fire department to stand as one for the officer and the family, and I ask our community to please stand as one and pray. And regarding that passing vehicle that was struck, as I mentioned, three people were inside. We're told they were taken to the hospital in stable condition. And back out here live, as you'll see, authorities are still here this morning. We know the Florida Department of Law Enforcement is investigating. Live in Liberty City, Lorena Estrada, today in Florida. All right, Lorena and 7, Samantha Sosa is live outside of Jackson Memorial Hospital, where that officer is now fighting for his life. Samantha. Again, this officer here at Ryder Trauma Center in critical condition, and we have seen just an outpouring of support from fellow officers here this morning and throughout the night as they wait outside the hospital, worried, sick, upset, and very emotional as they wait for an update. Of course, this is where that officer was taken shortly after 830. You can see in some video from earlier the concern and heartbreak of other officers emotional and distressed outside the emergency area. You'll see dozens and dozens of officers waiting in that area. Several patrol cars there as well. These people all there to monitor this officer's condition. Police and county officials again asking for prayers. We have hard days ahead of us. We have to do this together as one, as a community, as a law enforcement family. We ask all of you to join us in prayers, in support, for the family and for the entire law enforcement community that is on vigil, is on standby during this difficult time. Again, this officer listed in critical condition this morning, and we are waiting on an update from officials about his condition. As soon as we get any updates, we will bring them to you. For now, we are live at Jackson Memorial Hospital, Samantha Sosa, today in Florida. All right, Samantha, and of course, be sure to stay right here with 7 News for our continuing team coverage of this officer shooting. We will have more coming up in the next half hour of news.